Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, I'll be talking about the difference between autosomal inheritance and sex-linked inheritance. So let's talk, talk about it. In a very basic sense, if I explain it very simple words, I can tell you, inheritance means the pattern of how a gene will be transferred from the parent to the offspring. That is from one generation to the next generation. Now that gene we are talking about or the inheritance of the gene we are talking about, if the gene is present in any of the autosomes of our body, that inheritance will be known as autosomal type. If the gene is present in any of the sex chromosomes in our body, that will be known as the sex linked inheritance. Now the thing is, we have, if we look at the, the chromosomal pattern of our body, we can see like we have 22 pairs of autosome and one pair of sex chromosome. So 22 pairs of autosome and one pair of sex chromosome. Now in that pair we can have either XX, if we have XX that could be female, if we have XY we will we'll be counting as male. Okay. Rest of the body chromosomes are known as autosomes and autosome numbers will remain the same for both female body as well as in male body. Now if we talk about the autosomal inheritance, it is a, this general mode of inheritance and all the genes uh, that produces proteins in our body like the hepatocyte cells produces enzymes for, for digestion and all the process of metabolism and everything. Those genes are present mostly in the autosomes of our body. If we talk about the autosomal inheritance pattern, how it will look like? For example, a disease is carried by autosome. We take it here. Let us say the disease is autosomal disease. Let us say uh, if uh, small a is the problem. So if small a is present, the disease is there. So it is a recessive uh, type of disease. That means if two of the alleles are recessive, then only the disease will show up. Okay? So in this case, let us say capital A small a is a heterozygous form. That means though small a is a faulty gene, but as capital A is present, the disease will not show up. It is tagged with another person the same type. Okay? This is say father, this is say mother. After the cross, we can have four different options. We have an option called capital A, capital A. We have an option of capital A, small a, another capital A, small a, another small a, small a. Now among these four offspring that are possible, the genotype of offsprings, this offspring will not get the disease because they have both good copy. This offspring have one good copy, one bad, but good copy is the dominant, so no disease, no disease. This one is no, also same thing, no disease. In this offspring, they get both faulty copies and we know this is a scenario when the offspring will get the disease. This is how autosomal inheritance look like and how the autosomal inheritance is transferred from the parent to the offspring. Now if we come back here about the sex linked inheritance, sex linked inheritance is also known as X linked inheritance because you know though there are two types of sex chromosomes X and Y but mostly X related diseases are counted as a sex linked disease and the genes that are present in Y chromosome which are very rare some other sort of genes very character specific genes of males only they are known as holandric gene because they are specific for male because Y is only present in males it is not present in female now if you look at here for an X linked inheritance means in that case sex linked okay so that means the genes that are present in X chromosome and the inheritance pattern of that X chromosome placed genes are known as the sex linked inheritance or X linked inheritance. Now in that case, if we, if we see the example now, in that case, let's, let, in that case how we draw the disease, let us say one su such disease is colored blindness. Colored blindness is a situation where uh, some people fail to see few colors or some some cannot see even no color, uh, I mean any color. So the thing is, there are two types, absolute color blindness and some relative type. If the relative color blindness, they can see few colors and cannot see few other colors. But if it's absolute color blindness, in that case, that person cannot see any color at all. The complete picture in their mind is black and white. So here, what we see, that color blind gene is present in X chromosome, it's carried by X chromosome. 
So let's see here, and and the color blindness disease. Let me write it here. The color blindness. This disease is uh, it's X-linked recessive. It's an X-linked recessive disease. That means the same type. This disease will only be caused if both the X or if, if both the copies contains the same faulty gene. If there is only one faulty gene, this disease will not express. Only express when both alleles are faulty. So now let's see here. This is a mother with this colorblind gene. One of the gene is colorblind. Crossed with father X and Y, father is not colorblind. Now let's say here after this cross, if you have a mating there, so this is mother and this is father. Now what we get after this is that one possibility is this X C X this new offspring. In this female, you know, if you look at the X-linked inheritance and X-linked recessive inheritance in very close proximity, what you will see here is that the female that you see, the chances of getting a disease by a female is less. Why? Because for getting a disease, female should contain two copies of the color blind chain. Otherwise, it will not get because female have two X. If even if one X get those color blind gene, other normal X will compensate and the person will be fine, no problem at all. Okay? But that person will become a carrier of that disease. Why carrier? Because that person carries that faulty gene. Even though that person is not diseased herself, but it carries the disease. So it can spread the disease anytime to the next. For example, this mother was a carrier. This daughter is not getting the disease but become carrier. Let me see the other combinations. It could be like XCY. This is a male. The problem with male is that they have only one X. So if there is any faulty gene come from that one X, that will be expressed in the body. So here, as this boy have only one X, it's getting the color blindness gene from the mother and there is only one Y, Y cannot compensate there. So that boy will be color blind. So see the mother was no color blind, it's fine, normal vision, father was also normal vision, but the son becomes color blind and the reason for that is mother because father was completely fine with the genotype. The color blindness gene is carried by the mother. So it is a prime feature of a sex linked inheritance or X linked inheritance to transfer from mother to son and in X linked inheritance boys and the males are much prone to get the disease while in autosomal inheritance there is no not specific to genders it could affect uh, anything like it could affect males and females kind of at the same ratio throughout the population but in case of sex linked inheritance Males are much predominant to get the disease. Okay, they are much prone to get the disease. Now let's look at other other two combinations. Other combinations with this X, with this X, normal, X and Y also normal. So the only person to get the disease with this boy, and this girl is a carrier. So because this girl can spread that color blindness even to the next generations. Okay, the only chance of getting a, a girl or a, or a female to get X-linked inheritance and color blindness, in that case, father and mother both have to be color blind. Uh, father have to be color blind, mother has to be like carrier. Then only there is a chance. If the father is color blind, so the gene will be present here. So if you take this allele and this will form XCXC, then only that girl will be diseased. And if in this case normally, otherwise there are no, no options present. So the general rule is transferred from mother to son and father to daughter. That is the idea. For X-linked, mother to son, father to daughter. And X-linked inheritance never transferred from father to son because father gives the son only Y. 
the why you getting is only from your father the, the only ex we all men have are from our mother it's not from our father so it's not our father's fault that if you have any excellent inheritance it's your mother's fault that's how it transferred okay that is the unique feature of x linked inheritance so if you solve pedigree problems of x linked you try to find out it will be a sex bias like males will be much affected second thing it will transfer from mother to son third thing never transform from father to son transfer from father to daughter but never from father to son on the other hand for the domin uh, for for the autosomal type the general type of transmission like it's not sex biased like in a population 50% of the male and 50% of the female can affect can can be affected and it also transfers from one generation to another uh, without any problem like like this type okay so this in a sense is the difference between autosomal inheritance and sex linked inheritance and i hope this video helps you out if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and definitely share this video with your friends thank you